Hi guys, I'm Captain Ron, and welcome to Nautical Academy. In this video, I will show you how to determine the ship's displacement by using a hydrostatic table. But before we will proceed, let us define first displacement, dead weight and light weight. Dead weight is a measure of how much mass or weight the ship can safely carry. This is the sum of all the weights of cargo, fuel, lubricating oil, fresh water, water ballasts, stores, crews, passengers, and other effects. Light weight is the weight of the ship when she is completely empty. It is a mass of a ship with all of its structure including all steel, decks, cargo gears, and machinery with boilers top up to working level. So it does not include other items such as fuel, lubricating oil, fresh water, water ballast, cargoes, crews, passengers, and other effects. Displacement is the weight of the volume of water that the ship displaces, or it is the weight of the water that the ship pushes aside when she is floating. The weight of the volume of water displaced will be equal to the weight of a ship called displacement. Mathematically, we can calculate displacement is equal to light weight plus dead weight. On board the ship, we can extract the value of displacement using the hydrostatic table. This is a sample of the stability information manual, where inside we can find the hydrostatic table. And this is a sample of the hydrostatic table extracted from the stability information manual. Now I'm going to show you how to determine the ship's displacement using a hydrostatic table. This is our first example. Determine the displacement value using the hydrostatic tables when the ship is floating at a draft of 8.90 meters. The following are required in this problem. A. Ship's displacement in salt water. B. Ship's displacement in fresh water. And C. Ship's displacement when the ship is floating in dock water with a relative density of 1.012. This is a piece of hydrostatic table extracted from ship stability information manual. We will use this table in this particular problem. As you can see in this table, the first column from the left is the ship's draft in meters. The second column is the value of ship's displacement in salt water. The third column is the value of ship's displacement in fresh water. And the unit used for ship's displacement is tons or metric tons. So in finding the ship's displacement using a hydrostatic table. First, we need to determine the ship's mean draft. And in this problem the ship's mean draft is 8.90 meters. Then we go to our hydrostatic table. And in the first column of this table, find the ship's draft of 8.90 meters. As you can see, this is the draft of 8.90 meters. And in this row, you can see the value of ship's displacement in salt water in the second column. And in the third column is the value of ship's displacement in fresh water. So the answer for letter A in this problem, which is the ship's displacement when she is floating in salt water at a draft of 8.90 meters, is 19,086 tons. And the answer for letter B, which is the ship's displacement when she is floating in fresh water at a draft of 8.90 meters is 18,620 tons. For letter C, which is the ship's displacement when she is floating in dock water with a relative density of 1.012 at a draft of 8.90 meters. We will make some corrections, since the given value for ship's displacement are only for salt water, with a relative density of 1.025, and in fresh water, with a relative density of 1.0. I will show you how to make some corrections, to find the ship's displacement when she is floating at a dock water, with a relative density of 1.012, at a draft of 8.90 meters. And the formula for the correction is, displacement in dock water is equal to displacement in salt water, multiplied by the relative density of dock water, divided by the relative density of salt water. So this is the solution for the corrections of ship's displacement. Displacement in dock water is equal to displacement in salt water, at a draft of 8.90 meters, which is 19,086 tons, times the relative density of dock water, which is 1.012, divided by the relative density of salt water, which is 1.025, is equal to 18,843.93 tons. 
So the ship's displacement when she is floating in dark water with a relative density of 1.012 at a draft of 8.90 meters is 18,843.93 tons. Take note that if ever you will use freshwater displacement instead of saltwater displacement, your denominator should be replaced also with the relative density of a freshwater. Those are all my explanations regarding our first example on how to extract the value of ship's displacement using a hydrostatic table. I hope that you got it. I will now proceed to my next example. This is my second example in finding the value of ship's displacement using a hydrostatic table. Determine the ship's displacement using the hydrostatic table when the ship is floating in salt water at a draft of 8.86 meters. I will be using the same hydrostatic table that I used in my previous example. In this problem, the ship's draft is 8.86 meters. And if we try to find the value of ship's displacement in salt water, the available displacement value is at a draft of 8.80 meters and 8.90 meters. So we will make some interpolation to determine the value of ship's displacement at a draft of 8.86 meters. I will show you how to interpolate ship's displacement in salt water at a draft of 8.86 meters. You can use any method of interpolation in which you are familiar with. But in this video, I think this method will be easy to understand most especially for those who are not yet familiar with interpolation. First extract the value of ship's displacement in salt water at a draft of 8.90 meters, in which in this case the value is 19,086 tons. Then write the ship's draft of 8.86 meters just below 8.90 meters, leave more space between the two drafts, because later we will insert the value of our unknown to find the answer. Then below 8.86 meters, write the draft of 8.80 meters, with the corresponding displacement in salt water, which is 18,843 tons. Take the difference of drafts, 8.90 meters and 8.86 meters, the difference is 0.04 meter or 4 centimeters. Then take the difference of drafts, 8.90 meters and 8.80 meters, the difference is 0.10 meter or 10 centimeters. Then on the other side, which are the displacement value, do the same by taking the difference between two drafts. We have the displacement value at a draft of 8.90 meters, which is 19,086 tons, but the displacement value at a draft of 8.86 is unknown, so we let x will be the difference between the two displacements values. Then take also the difference of the two displacement values at a drafts of 8.90 meters and 8.80 meters, and the difference is 243 tons. Now, we can ratio and proportion the differences in drafts and displacements. 0 0.04 meter divided by 0 0.10 meter equals to x divided by 243 tons. Then cross multiply it. We will now cancel the meter unit, so the unit of our answer later will be in tons. Then we will cross multiply. 0 0.04 times 243 tons is equal to 0 0.10 times x. Then we will transpose, so that our unknown x will be left on the other side. We will bring down 0 0.10 as the denominator of 0 0.10x. We also bring it down on the other side. Then we cancel both 0 0.01, so that our unknown x will be left. So this is now our equation to find the difference of displacement between drafts of 8.90 meters and 8.86 meters. Our unknown x now is equal to 0 0.04 times 243 tons divided by 0 0.10 is equal to 97.2 tons. This is now the difference of displacement on drafts 8.90 meters and 8.86 meters. We are now going to add or subtract 97.2 tons to a displacement of 19,086 tons in order to find the ship's displacement at a draft of 8.86 meters. But how are we going to determine whether we add or subtract 97.2 tons? First, inspect the value of displacement at a draft of 8.90 meters. The value of displacement is 19,086 tons. Then go down to the value of displacement at a draft of 8.80 meters, which is 18,843 tons. The value of displacement is decreasing. 
So we will subtract 97.2 tons from 19,086 tons. If the value of displacement is increasing at 97.2 tons, but in this case, the displacement value is decreasing, so we will subtract 97.2 tons from 19,086 tons. The ship's displacement now at a draft of 8.86 meters when she is floating in salt water is 18,988.8 tons. This is one of the methods of interpolation that I use, but you can use any method of interpolation that you think is easy and you are familiar with. I will now proceed to my next example of determining the ship's displacement using a hydrostatic table. This is our third example. Determine the ship's displacement using a hydrostatic table when the ship is floating in dock water with a relative density of 1.015 at a draft of 8.86 meters. In this case, the only difference from the second example is the relative density in which the ship is floating. At this time, the ship is floating in dock water instead of salt water as stated in our second example, with the same draft which is 8.86 meters. In this example, our first step is to determine the ship's displacement at a draft of 8.86 meters when floating in salt water. Then if we have already determined the ship's displacement in salt water, we can proceed to second step, in which we will make some corrections to find the ship's displacement when she is floating in dock water with a relative density of 1.015. But I have already made the first step in my previous example. This is the procedure of our first step in this problem, which I have already shown in my previous example. So the ship's displacement at a draft of 8.86 meters when she is floating in salt water is 18,988.8 tons. If you forgot this procedure, just play this video back and review the second example. We will now proceed to second step. Since we have now the value of displacement at a draft of 8.86 meters when floating in salt water, and in our problem the ship is floating in dock water, with a relative density of 1.015. We will make some corrections just like I did in letter C of my first example, in order to determine the ship's displacement when she is floating in dock water with a relative density of 1.015. The formula in correcting the ship's displacement is, displacement in dock water is equals to displacement in salt water, times the relative density of dock water, divided by the relative density of salt water. So displacement in dock water is equals to 18,988.8 tons, which is the displacement in salt water at a draft of 8.86 meters times 1.015, the relative density of dock water where the ship is floating, divided by 1.025 which is the relative density of salt water. And the answer is 18,803.54 tons. This is now the ship's displacement at a draft of 8.86 meters when she is floating in dock water with a relative density of 1.015. That's all for now guys. I hope you've learned something in this video. More videos will be uploaded soon about ship's ability in Trim. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching.